Guys, we do have the major news that we all kind of expected. Unfortunately, when it comes to the expansion of the college football playoff, it always seems to be a little murky, but it was approved. This tweet, college football playoff presidents have unanimously approved to expand the college football playoff to the 12-team format that we expected. The date of implementation 2024 2025 or 2026 is being left for commissioners to be determined as well as the details of the format. So guys, let me give you my quick take on this. They have, once again, it's the same thing as yesterday. They've got a major incentive to get this implemented ASAP. If you take a look at that SI article that I talked about, they were saying if they implement the 12 team playoff starting in 2024, uh, they will make an extra basically half a billion dollars altogether with the extra playoff games going to a 12-team format. It says the 12-team model is expected to start in 2026. That's the original thing I saw, and my first theory was, wow, it must not have been a unanimous vote because this whole storyline was setting up. The playoff was getting expanded for sure, the question is, would it be in a unanimous vote by the presidents to expand the thing in 2024? If it wasn't unanimous, it would be expanded starting in 2026 when the current four-team playoff contract expires. But apparently, when you look at the second part of this tweet, after the current contract, according to a source, there is still a chance that it could go earlier, but those details are complicated and would take some time to work out. So the worst case scenario right now, the 12 team playoff is coming in 2026, but due to the financial motivation, not wanting to leave half a billion dollars on the table, I think these conference commissioners will get it worked out to where we will have a 12 team playoff starting in the 2024 season. I've maintained that thought from the beginning. Uh, and it is, you take a look at the overall format the exact same thing that was rumored 15 months ago. The six highest ranked champs automatically qualified. So I'm guessing that includes the American, which is really interesting because the American is about to get a whole lot weaker with the Big 12 taking those three teams and then six at large to complete the field. Not surprising, We this was the exact same format that was rumored so long ago. And then we do have the official model that I will show you guys with the top four seeds getting a bye and then the other the um, the bottom eight seeds 5v12 6v11 7v10 and 8v9 the question was was it going to be unanimous it is unanimous now I I'm surprised they phrased it this way because when I saw on my phone it read from ESPN a notification that it was going to be expanded in 2026. And my first thought was, oh, it must not have been a unanimous vote. That's surprising to me. No, the president vote was unanimous, but they framed it in a weird way. I think the biggest thing we can take away from this is we should be getting the playoff in 2024. Based on all of the financial factors, we know these commissioners are extremely motivated by money. That's why two teams from California are now in the Big Ten Conference. That's why the SEC, who already had the best conference by far, added the two most storied programs from the Big 12. Follow the money. It's all about money. This is official. But it seems like when it comes to this playoff expansion news, it's almost like pulling teeth. It's just like they yesterday they literally say, if the vote is unanimous, it's going in 2024. It is unanimous, but no, there's still hurdles. They still got to decide. So we're still waiting. We're st Are they going to implement it in 2024? Once again, guys, the key thing here, they would lose a ton of money, overall ad revenue, and then we can talk about why the playoff does need to be expanded. I haven't really seen anyone argue that the playoff should remain at four teams outside of it being an exclus being exclusive. The point of the situation, college football has got to evolve. There are multiple, multiple, multiple problems with remaining, uh, keeping the playoff at four teams. 
This, I said in my earlier video about kind of my early takeaways from the season, this will help incentivize scheduling tougher non-conference matchups because teams won't be worried about losing a game. Now you can lose two or three games and still make the playoffs. Some people will view that as a negative, but overall for the strength of college football, it's going to allow more fans a chance it is for the better of college football, guys. This is evolution. Not everything is going to be perfect. We've evolved from two teams to four teams. Now we're evolving from four to 12, and we're keeping the top four seeds. That's why I'm, I'm so big into the 12-team format. The top four seeds get the first round by. So it's there's still a lot of motivation for Alabama, Ohio State, all those top teams to want to get that first round by. And then the idea that games like Ohio State, Michigan, Alabama, Auburn, the idea that those games would be more meaningless to me is completely ridiculous. Those games get played one time every single year. There is an, an exclusiveness, there is a scarcity factor that cannot that has to be taken into account. So no matter what, if Ohio State faces Michigan and they're both undefeated, no matter the winner, no matter the loser, they're both getting, getting into the playoff, that game will still matter. People will still watch that game. The ratings on that game will not suffer because you know in the back of your head they're both going to the playoffs. I swear to you, they will not in the long run. The other major issue, I've outlined it, I've pointed it out. The one argument, nobody has an answer to this. What happens when Kenny Pickett sits out a New Year's Six game? What happens when Kenneth Walker sits out a New Year's Six game? What happens when Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave sit out the frickin' Rose Bowl, folks? That's why there needs to be an incentive. All of these New Year's Six games have to matter. And then the whole logistics thing, why people are try are being a little bit timid, what they have to agree on, it comes down to the whole TV deal. And if we expand this playoff to a 12-team playoff, would ESPN get the full rights to all of the games, I don't think that's what would happen. I think they would negotiate it. ESPN would certainly get a sizable amount of games, but the commissioners want this to be spread around. The commissioners would want Fox to get a few games. They would want NBC maybe to get a game. CBS get a game. They want everything spread around to all the major uh, you know, TV players and things like that. So that is, I think, the major holdup right now when it comes to the logistics and getting the turnaround time so we can implement this ASAP and get it ready for the 2024 season. So this year, four-team playoff. 2023, which is next year, four-team playoff. 2024, possibly possibly 12-team playoff. There's a big financial incentive. It just comes down to ESPN being w willing to negotiate. I think the major issue is if ESPN says, we want all the games. We've already got all the rights to the New Year's Six games. Why wouldn't we keep those? You know, because the thought is they would keep the New Year's Six games and those would just be turned into second round playoff matchups in a 12-team format. Um, and, and that makes all the New Year's Six games meaningful. And that prevents the horrible situation of a Kenny Pickett and a Kenneth Walker sitting out. Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson sitting out, making these what are supposed to be the most important games of the college football season, making them, for all intents and purposes, completely meaningless. So that is another thing, that is another reason we do need to expand the playoff. You know, I think if the New Year's Six games were still very meaningful and they were competitive and everyone was into them and the Rose Bowl was this huge thing, you could make an argument that the four-team playoff needs to stay. It's better to keep it at four because of the scarcity things and stuff like that. But with the situation that happened last year, I'm not, I don't see anyone that could argue uh, the playoff. It, it, it's not perfect, but it's the best at this time for the evolution of college football. We've seen the horrible ratings. We've seen the decline in popularity. How do we get it back? This is a way to get more fans engaged. Now you're looking at a team like Utah. You're looking at a team like NC State. You know, if they had the 12-team playoffs, those teams would be in it. Now it's very, very tough for those teams to make the four-team playoff. You're getting more fan bases involved. And then, of course, you do have the unlikely scenario, but the scenario for a potential Cinderella run, which would be marketed crazy from maybe a UCF, from maybe a Cincinnati or a team like that. Of course, it becomes very tough with the talent gap we're currently seeing in college football. You've got such a high you know, percentage of talent 
Uh, and, and I think I will show the t- updated 247 Sports uh, team talent ratings, and you guys can see it's really four schools. I would say at this point right now, it's Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Texas A&M. That would be, in my opinion, probably the elite range um, of overall talent total because they just updated that, and you guys can go look at that if you want. That is updated for this year. It's got you know, how many five stars are on every roster, what's the overall rating, how talented is a roster based on the overall uh, um, recruiting rankings. And of course, Alabama's first, not surprising. I believe Georgia is second, Ohio State third, A&M is fourth. Um, So those are the updated rankings there. But guys, the big news, it's getting expanded to 12 teams. It's either going to happen in 2024, 2025, or 2026, but there's a major financial incentive to get this thing done and get it expanded possibly as early as 2024, which is my personal bet. If I had to make a prediction, I'd say we're expanding in 2024, but that is the news we expected. It was unanimous, but you know, there's a lot of logistics, a lot of TV rights to work out when it comes to actually expanding it to a 12 team. So we're very happy this is happening, but I would love, let's let's batten this down, let's get it down, let's get it in writing. 2024 season, we will see a 12 team playoff. We need it, the sport needs it for popularity. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.